to be famous. Yeah, you're too whack to not stay local. You're, you're, you're too whack to not stay local. Yeah, you're too whack to not stay local. Another bittering evening, meringue and tang and sang am on a matter ring myself and am a laminated, debated, debated, did it, tomato, 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 traded, elevated for a decorative raincoat. The same board an artist is martyred for getting border at the bottom of non-existent on the festival order. Former the corners, corner performances on the score to a coronary, ordinary, fortified, generic, carrot top of monopoly. Oddly, I'm an anomaly. I'm Lynn Olive County, not, not a hippie. Disconnected, polenta, dementia, tech, and wook. I don't want to be offered another marijuana petition. It's all love until I heard your songs. Oh, it's all fun the way you claim it's good. What should be an envelope prod or not avoiding creativity? Proclivity committing to the right reasons. You can play guitar, rode in a face and marble. How you rake the farm is what is ate tomorrow. Poodle Saint Bernard, or did we make for cars? Show mama plane break away, model Donnie Darko. Coming out of propagator, matri to preach you need a meter reading or reading your rea hype in the receiver. Punchlines written for the people of Earth parts. If only I was rated on the alien charts. Of Darth Vader, full one-dimensional lemmings, and federal more complacent tapas appetizer, tipping salary, default that up the pottery barn, everything. Comedy fart fake shit, cigarettes are so 2001, not that I vape it. How can I start on the utterly basic? I'm more basky out than more hall mosaic, and not a fan for the bland. Understand the man, the uncanny Koran. You're in a cover band, meanwhile. I'm too weird to be famous. I don't want to listen to your safe music. Fuck another half the hearing bright eye girl. It's how the cow pie turns and dirt around my world. I'm always proud to learn to not allow to yearn. Regurgitated stay on this for which so many people settle. Send in the art of blaring your undying connoisseurship out the window. I'm at the learning the world through your refinement. Some Acura pulls up playing shitty rap records. I'm in my Honda Fit bumping less than Jake. Scott Farkas takes it on the chin. Or really anything pre-anthem era. Memorandum. Dumb shun a week, all pleasing artifice. Got my city of done eating, done and dogs and oranges like a pog and giga picture. Not continuing with separate Bach or Beethoven. Oh, I'm gonna give it to you. At the drive in every live performance, Spike Jones and the Beastie Boys. Miles Davis and the late Charles Bradley Soul. Less a played out replica of Bradley Knoll. I'm at the ring of realm of opinion meets opinion where I'll fight you on your tenets with the what's your definition like. Stop making stupid people famous again. Stop voting Donald Trump into office again. I want my money back for your Tupac hologram. I'm a Nazi and Cage due to Disney intolerance. See, my rule of thumb is this. It's not ubiquitous, but if you're playing the amphitheater, I'm probably not listening. Make on a start, not dependent on the light show. Smoke and mirror syrup a bowl constrictor. Can you please talk louder? I can still hear the van. There's a lack of concession worth questioning. Are you here for the drugs or here for the music? Are you here for the drugs or the music? No, really. Are you here for the drugs or here for the music? Cause your mouth's saying not what your body's doing. Congrats on being the band recognized for being dope and always playing to a sold out show and conveniently having cocaine. Huh. <laughs> Surgeon General, Surgeon General, Surgeon General, rest in peace, rest in peace, rest in Roberto Clemente, Roberto Clemente. August 18th, I'm born in 34, San Antonio, Carolina, Puerto Rico, whoa, seven kids and I'm the baby, nice to meet ya, when I hit I drive them crazy, crying the season, short stops and fields, with pops to pay the bills, we got to eat the meals, and top track can feel that plot to win the races, picking up the bat and glove, running the bases, touch the plate, it's Clemente's trial, driving miles, hitting balls with steady styles, diving wild, Brooklyn calling, triple A up in the minus, such excitement, next Assignment, 
royals trying to hide him, can't deny it. Riding pines while pirates whine and dine. I'm signing dotted lines, flying high. It's my time to shine. Became a major player, staying in papers. Hated for the words that he say. Plus, his kid is in base. Black check for the card players. Hall of Fame. Clubs of gold, 12 straight. Irritating the races. Destined for greatest. 15 placements on the All Star team. World Series. MVP. Only thing stopping me on New Year's Eve. Nicaragua needs supplies for the lives. Jeopardize from earthquake. Survive. Hurt, but they alive. Whoa, so we catch your flights to my demise. Another plane crash last night. Among five persons aboard, Pittsburgh Pirates baseball superstar Roberto Clemente. I said to myself, I represent the, the common people of America. And every person that comes for a job, no matter who he is or what kind of a race or color he is, if he does the job, he should be treated like, you know, like, like what? If I ain't good enough to play here, I have to be good enough to be treated like the rest of the place. So I don't want to be put in the bathroom because I can't Damn right, he don't want to be put in the back, y'all. He want to put in the back. Shout out, shout out to, to Roberto. Man, right, right there. Um, but yeah, appreciate everybody uh, tuning in already. Little Fool Capital, we here. Uh, if you uh, like the music, uh, uh, you already know what the drill is. If you're a regular, if you're not a regular, there's a playlist. It's been on the screen. Um, you know, that's what we do. We support local music around here. Uh, so, yeah, with that being said, though, uh, tonight is movie review night. We haven't done one in a bit because um, I was on you know a little vacation and all that stuff and you know, it was timing. Um, so we're doing Rebel Moon Part Two. I figured it was good to do since we did the first one not that long ago. <coughs> so if you're curious, you can check out the YouTube Boda Fool, obviously, and uh, y'all have that plus others and all a bunch of other shit. Um, but before uh, that, as always, um, for those who may be new, we do some trailers. Uh, before we get into the actual movie review. Um, so uh, we're going to get into those, that, and then of course, the multiverses. We're going to do that afterwards. We'll have some drops running on that. So uh, stay around, stick around for that. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. Uh, starting with our, um, our trailers. Uh, so let's go ahead and get that up. Bam. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, pause this. Uh, we'll be switching that up shortly. Uh, but first one of uh, the evening, Nosferatu. Come to me. Come to me. Hear my call. Come to me. Okay, I'm sold already, honestly. This shit looks good. This shit looks he pretty solid. Who, who is coming to you, my child? Uh, no. uh, what the fuck? We are here encountering the vampire. <laughs> nice. Creepy sounds. Ah! Right, there we get it. We get it. Christmas. Interesting. They're putting that out on Christmas. I got to give them balls. Uh, give them credit for the balls, honestly. Uh, all right. Next one here. Um, honestly, I saw the homie, uh, Kieran Culkin. We stay moving. Like, we stay light. We stay is. agile. Yeah. The conductor's going to come through taking tickets. We tell him we're going to the bathroom. The bathroom. He gets okay. to the back of the train. He's going to start heading towards the front looking for stragglers. Sorry, we're the stragglers? Yeah. By the time he gets to the front, the train's going to be in the station and we're home free. This is so fucking stupid. The tickets are probably like 12 bucks. The principal of thing. We shouldn't have to pay for train tickets in Poland. This is our country. No, it's not. It was our country. They kicked us out because they thought we were cheap. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the 
Stop flying. Fuck, man. I'm so Why sorry. Did you do that? You're like red. Yeah, because you fucking slapped me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. I want to see that one, too, man. That looks like a good movie. Uh, all right. Uh, next, we got uh, the A24 roll. We got two of them, actually. Hi, good afternoon, ma'am. Are you interested in learning about our Savior, Jesus Christ? What the fuck? Hi. Good afternoon. Hi, are you my okay? name is uh, Sister Barnes, and oh, my gosh. What? Are you interested in learning more about the Church of Jesus Christ? Come on in. We can't come inside unless another woman is present. My wife is home. Does that come? Great. You like pie? Yeah. My I wife has that. pie in the oven. I, I could tell that you are a very spiritually uh -huh. curious person. I think it is good to be religious, to find your faith in a doctrine you actually believe. <laughs> well, our work here is done. <laughs> no, I, I will go and check on the pie. So sweet, oh, fuck. The fuck? We, we got him being a. Oh no. <laughs> you Grant. Can you fit through this? You're crazy. Yo, <sighs> <laughs> what the we fuck? We need to go home. I won't keep you if you wish to leave. But I want you to choose which door to go through based on your faith. What does this have to do with us leaving? Everything. <laughs> oh, what? I think that we're being studied. It will make your hearts beat faster. It may even make you want to die. Do not be afraid. You will witness a miracle. Uh -huh. What in the actual fuck? Yo, I fucks with it, man. I fucks with it. I do. Heretic, huh? Uh, heretic. Uh, yeah, all right. All right, all right, all right. Next one, another A24, you know. No, no regrets. No, I will have no... Babe, my dad is dead. Your father's final request was he wants you to take your Fucking mother into your home. I'm willing to give you all the money I got. Well, we can pay off the house with that money. Never really hear me is telling me to run away. Welcome home, Solange. Oh, is she there? Yeah, that's the nursery. It's my room now. <laughs> I realize I do not know my granddaughter's name. We're gonna name her Fern. Another plant you got growing in there? No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it bro. Be parents understood names gotta have power. Real father, what was his name? I didn't know him really well. Mm. Call that a broken family. What the hell? She I didn't realize that the this Holy is... Spirit possesses her. Oh boy. And gives her power. I can't practice my face. Not like I used to. You're a racist. You don't know what real racism is. Are you gonna tell me? Have I offended you? Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Your stepmother is <He's> literally. <laughs> what the fuck? Do you fear the Lord? No. Fear me. She said that you hit her. She wants you to think it was me. She wants to replace me. I am her mother. Oh, no, yeah, hey. Oh, no, yeah, hey. 
This is my house. Being cooked Yo, up with a newborn what? mother in law can drive anyone crazy. Help me, Belinda. My name is Belinda. Belinda. Yo, that actually looks pretty good as well. A24. Just be having some 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 bangers. Uh, so the next few trailers we got are going to be pretty much comic book uh, stuff. So, you know, br brace yourselves. Asking the question on everyone's mind these days, what do you think about the Batman? Brian. Uh, Frank, this whole city's gone to hell in a handbasket. Well, he's breaking the law, ain't he? So they ought to catch that freak and lock him up. I won't say it's going to be easy, but catching criminals is what we do. So this one dresses up like Dracula, so what? We're gonna take him down. What do we know about this Batman? He's been beating the tar out of muggers and dope peddlers out there the last few weeks. <laughs> he's huh. mostly been seen at night driving that hot rod of his 100 miles an hour. The animation now he's style. Even attacking our brave police. Nice car. This man is not a hero, he's a criminal. And his time in Gotham is up. It's just like the he's animated series. Up, sir. Three explosions in two weeks. Peculiar. There's something more going on here. Ah, yeah, that very, there you go. Huh? He knows too much. He's an itch that needs to get scratched. The kings don't run this court anymore. The jester does. Bang! Look out! We could be looking at an all-out gang war on the streets of Gotham. This is a losing battle. A hundred other monsters will show up to replace anyone you take down. Probably. But now they'll all know I'm coming for them. This uh, actually looks pretty good. Damn. So I'm yeah, new series? All right, yeah. August 1st. That's right around the corner, yo. Well, not right around the corner, but that's close. Soonish. Um, cool. I like the style. They went with the animated series style. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, you're AC right there, Venom. I don't think I got to do this trailer. Maybe I did, and I'm redoing it, but fuck it. I don't remember. This came out three weeks ago. I know I did not do a movie review three weeks ago. So. You should probably know that I have a really dark... An unpredictable side to me. Stop speaking. I'm giving you a chance, sweetie. Say when. When. What are you? We. We are <laughs> no. Oh. Yeah, we. we are. <laughs> <laughs> work on that. <laughs> Bless us. You take me to all the finest places. I need time enough. We always knew it was impossible. Ground control to major Tom. And it's our job to make sure that remains a secret. Let's go get him. So we are fugitives. On the run, in the shit. We are living the dream, my friend. You mean it? No. This is chess. I don't know where they're going with uh, but have this uh, after us. I'm gonna I'm gonna go and see this. Cause I just I, I gotta see what happens. Eddie, my own has found us. Oh fucking separation anxiety sort of, not really. 
There's an army coming that cannot be beaten. As long as Venom lives, everyone, everything will end. You may not make it out of this alive, buddy. Eddie, the time has come. Yeah, maybe? I don't know. I mean, I like the other two. They're just fun movies, honestly. Be honest. <coughs> How fast do you think you can get that thing to go without killing it? <laughs> Only one way to find out! <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. Alright, uh, so this is coming out in a couple weeks. I'm about and, to lose everything uh, that I've ever cared about, and I have no teaser. idea how to save it. But you do! Trust me, kid, I'm no hero. This Wolverine let down his entire world. Well, my entire world needs you. Shake on it. Ah! Nicked it! Just got the tip with your little steak knife. This is what I'm talking about. Big slow-motion action sequence. Who knows if you live or die? Who's next? Uh. My God. Fucking saber tooth, ready to die. Wait, 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 wait! Time! You look ridiculous. People have waited decades <laughs> for this fight. It's not gonna be easy. Baby knife, you shoot the double, you take him down. Side control, then full mount, and you ground and pound till he makes no sound because he's dead. Shut the fuck up! Oh my God. <laughs> okay, good luck. I'm a huge fan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for that movie. That's going to be amazing. That is going to be amazing. All right, uh, the last, like, movie slash show trailer before we get into some game trailers. Uh, Arcane Season 2. Teaser. Stupid excited for this shit. Your council is dead. You walk along the edge of danger. Wrath must be met with wrath. You will have justice. <laughs> oh, man. This shit is going to be so good. I will lead a strike team into zone with three objectives. Locate Jinx. Dismantle Shimmer. And neutralize any agents still loyal to Silco. My sister God. is gone. I'm a Warwick. This has to end. Yeah. Jinx! Finally got the name right. Oh, that shit's gonna be so good. Ah! I can't wait. I can't wait. Alright, so we got some game trailers, and actually, speaking of uh, League of Legends, uh, they got a PvE event. Uh, they are doing soon. Well, currently happening? One of the two. Either way. Hey, Welcome, new recruits, to Anima Squad. Please pay attention to this briefing for the highest chance of surviving Swarm. your first day. And so it looks like uh, that vampire second. survivor. Yeah. Prepare to face massive hordes of primordian enemies in and around Final City. Your objective? Hold them off for as long as animally possible. This will require determination, creativity, and a huge arsenal of mega powerful augments. Yo, yeah, like. That shit looks crazy. I calculate your chances of death to be. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No need for that. Thanks, Yumi. <laughs> Sorry about her. First rule of Anima Squad: we're stronger together. So always bring your friends along. You never know when you run into an extra mean Primordian. That 
way, you won't be alone when numberless enemy forces overwhelm your squad. It's crazy because it doesn't even look like it, uh, the same again. game. Again. But don't worry, that's how you get stronger. Keep trying, and this you'll discover lead, your true power in no time. Might even get your own suit someday. <clears throat> Unless the Primordians obliterate everyone, of course. We're not gonna let that happen, though. Yeah. Or Say what you will, they, they really humanity? know what they're doing the with their skills. The whole world is counting on Anima Squad. On you. So get out there and kick some Primordian butt. Uh, Anima Squad? An Anima Squad? <laughs> Anima. Anima. <laughs> uh, Alright. Uh, so let's see. The next. Here's the next one. This is a uh, old joint that they're re-releasing, or <coughs> whatever. Not Our cloners require a host. You must find an ideal specimen. <laughs> among the galaxy's most dangerous mercenaries. Greetings, Greetings the origin. I have a proposition for you. I never played this myself, but no, it's really cool no, that Jay they're, uh, it's you too know, dangerous even for you. Really I am the best. Oh, graphics are amazing. Always was. Ah, uh, always was this guy. So I don't know if that's like a remaster or whatever. I mean, it looks okay. Either way, that's really cool. Um, so the next one here is from some of the old developers from League. Uh, Super idea what's even happening. So it's like a MOBA Royale. Yeah, I was uh, <laughs> uh, invited to the beta again. I just oh, haven't bothered. That's so good. I'm just a bad guy. I win these. Oh wow. Oh wow. Very interesting concept. That was so cool. You see what I used to Clip that. Supervive, I guess. Interesting. Interesting. So, yeah, basically a MOBA battle royale is what that is. Um, looks cool. 
this one uh, got announced, or this this looks great. Um, you got got to give it give it up for the the retro, the member berries. Oh yeah. Go, go, Power Rangers! <laughs> Fucking Goldar. Hi, guys. Crabby ca oh bones. Crabby cabby. Stupid. I I I, lo I love an old school, you know, game. Not a retro arcade, a retro style game. All right, one more, uh, and then we're gonna into the review. I uh, I saw this and I was like, oh. I'm going to get this. Just don't know what I'm getting it on, though. Uh, probably PC. But I kind of want to get a physical copy, so maybe in my Switch? I don't know. <laughs> Fucking Children of the Atom. Berserker Barrage! Yeah. Marvel Superheroes, another great one. Web swing. And then X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Yeah, Rogue was that shit. Marvel Superheroes vs. Street Fighter. Behold, the Clash. And the OG Marvel vs. Capcom. Oh, God. And then the best of the best. Take for a ride. Beat em up classic. I didn't even know that shit existed. That's cool. I love how it, 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 he's not shooting anything and he's the Punisher. I, I used to do that shit on command, no problem. Ah, uh, slot. Long awaited online features. Here comes a new challenger! Casual matches for laid back battles. And ranks for sweaty assholes. <laughs> Lobby matches with friends. Shit, good night. Test your training. Turns all over the world. Yeah, this is amazing. Such a dope ass collection, yo. Such a good one. Big excited. Hey, what up, G? Appreciate you tuning in, brother. Uh, yeah, I'm so excited for that collection. Like, big excited. Big excited. All right, so we're going to go ahead here and get this uh, Rebel Moon trailer up. Uh, we're going to be reviewing this. So here's the official trailer for Rebel Moon 2, which uh, we're going to be discussing here. Their nightmare is us fighting together 
to defend something we love. You must know you cannot win. Says the Anthony Hopkins robot. Gather every hunting rifle, every knife, every round of ammunition in the village. <laughs> That's impressive. <laughs> has come for all that you love <laughs> show them your mercy <laughs> you stand between us and annihilation part two the scar giver uh Tell me what we're trying to achieve here. The same thing as the last time we met. I kill you. Oh. Okay. 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 So, uh, as always, for the uh, movie review, throw on uh, the shots of the cousin, uh, track justice, a little background music as we discuss. Um. All right. So. For those who might be new tuning in, and the I, we do a review slash discussion, uh, so there will be some spoilers. Uh, so keep that in mind. So if you don't want to be spoiled by this, I would suggest you leave, come back, or mute it. I don't know, but uh, we will be doing multiverses after this with uh, local music. But uh, so with that said. Um, yeah, I picked this. Um, I normally do the wheel spin, as I mentioned in the last time. Uh, we actually picked this, but I, I, I said, fuck it. I want to pick it because part two, I did part one. Wasn't really a big fan of it. Uh, part two, uh, spoiler alert, not that big a fan of this one either. <laughs> I, t t honest, check out the YouTube, Butterfool. There's, I got the review for the first one. Like, I have a lot of the same kind of complaints. Um, like, the, the thing with Zack Snyder is the man has a, a good eye for visuals. Like, for sure. Like, um, but the problem he has is he does a couple of things way too much. Uh, one uh, big, big, big one is the goddamn slow motion. I swear to God. This movie is two hours and like six minutes, I think it is. Hold up, uh, running time, 122 minutes. So yeah, basically six, the two hours, basically. So the movie is two hours. I can, I kid you the fuck not. You could reduce this movie by maybe 10 minutes, maybe even 15, give or take, if you didn't had no slow motion. If you. <laughs> If you had no slow motion, this movie would be a tight uh, an hour and 50 minutes, maybe an hour 45. Like, bro, it's like for 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 the older folks, it's like when when back in the day when beats was uh, people were like heavy on the beats producers, certain people found certain buttons like DJ Clue, Clue, Clue. Yeah, he, he had his 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 echo button that he used to hit all the fucking time. That's how Zack Snyder is with his his fucking slow motion. My homie loves his slow motion to the point. Um, and again, spoilers, but this is not really important per se to the to the to the film. But homie took harvesting wheat and put it in slow motion. Who does this? Who does this? What am I watching a fucking music video for Enya? Like who does this? Who who does this? I have no idea. Literally, this movie is two hours. The first 30 minutes of the movie is basically us watching people farm wheat. Why? He had to, like, I guarantee you, my homie was like, yo, I got, I got, like, I got to fill some time here. I filled my, my, my last half of the movie where it's pure action you know, a bunch of crazy shit happening. I still got like an hour left of screen time. 
what am I gonna do? I know! Slow motion and wheat harvesting. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's <laughs> up? And, and then also, the fucking sun glare, like, through the first half hour of the movie. Like, every pan, every fucking distance shot, every quote. This guy love his 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 flair, his, his God, and it's like, bro, I get it. It does look cool every once in a while, but not when it's a half hour straight of slow motion and and gla uh, fl glares, like sun glares. Like, what is what are you doing? Hey, God, like they, like they lost me immediately. And so, one of my big gripes with the first one is how they kind of pulled everybody together kind of quickly and just kind of just. One person to the next. So we we picked up homie. We we picked up homie. Picked up homegirl. Like we just we kept it rolling. Like just a little snippet of backstory. So I'm thinking in the second one, we're gonna get some more of this backstory. Maybe that's gonna save that downfall of the first film. They give you <laughs> this sort of god ten to fifteen minutes. I want to say. Uh, of the main like six characters or whatever, their backstories, their their uh, their arcs, their moments basically of when they decided to turn against the Empire or whatever the fuck they are, the the space uh, space Nazis basically, because you're not going to tell me they're anything else. They're space Nazis. The second one dragging on the field. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, and then and so with like I wanted more of these characters' backstories, like. Give me something. I want to give a shit. I do. I promise. I'm trying to give a shit. But you're not helping me at all. Like, just as quickly as they were introduced in the first one is how quickly you get their backstories or moments, I should say, in the second one. And the worst part is, guess what? Every fucking moment, every goddamn flashback is slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, you can make a drinking game out of Zack Snyder in slow motion in his films. Like, for every time the film goes into slow motion, you take a shot or you take a sip or whatever. Like, you're going to be plastered by the end of that fucking movie because Zack Snyder loves slow motion. Period. Like, homie, that's like his go-to button and nothing else. And it's, it's insane. So... Again, most of my gripes are, you know, very familiar as to the first one. And, like, this movie felt so goddamn clunky. Because uh, I'm going to jump to another section that really kind of stuck out as what the fuck. So, you see the robot in the trailer uh, that I mentioned, the Anthony Hopkins robot. Um, apparently, its name is Jimmy. I'm just seeing this now. Uh, so, we're, I, we get to call robot Jimmy. I love it. So, Jimmy... Uh, had a couple lines of dialogue in the first one. I, he was supposed to protect the princess and the family, and then that went all to shit, and so he's just there existing. Um, and so in the second movie here, he's just doing some more existing. <laughs> like, what I love is he gets... There's like this one shot of him just watching over the town, like, as they're harvesting, and I'm like, okay... Cool, Jimmy, chilling. Can't even help with the harvest. Like, what is this purpose of this robot? They make it seem like I'm this is so important, and I'm supposed to really give a shit about a fucking robot. Like, home, like really, like what? And, and, <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, all right, fine, whatever. And so, spoiler alert. Again, we do those here. That's why it's a discussion and review. So he has, uh, of course, the robot has a moment where he decides to step in and be a hero, basically, and, and uh, pretty much destroy a tank. Did it look cool? Yes, it did. It looked cool. Did it make sense? Fuck no, it didn't. <laughs> At one point, you watch people getting blown up and shot to death. They're like, no, nah, I can't step in just yet. And then my love, my favorite part is after he um, does his whole thing and he blows up this tank. When he jumps out of the tank, 
my homie does the su superhero landing. Like, it was so fucking, like, just corny and just, like, I felt like, <laughs> I was like, is this a shot? Like, what, like, like, it was just bad. Like, it looked cool, but just the how it all happened, I'm like, why, like, like, what? Like, this makes no sense. Like, at all. Like, whatsoever. It's just like motherfuckers just show up on a, like, if this were an anime, he would have showed up and then we would have had like a whole backstory episode about the robot. This is not anime. <laughs> at all. Whatsoever. Because at least I'll give you a, like, you know, a little bit about the characters you're supposed to give a shit about. Um, you know, another prime example is uh, the, the, the saber looking, well, saber sword girl. Uh, I don't even remember her fucking name, to be honest. Uh, let me see. What is it? Uh, Cyborg. Is that her? Duna? Yeah. Nemesis. Her. That's her name. I didn't even realize that was her name. All right? That's her? I'm pretty sure that's her. Oh, hold on. Let's see. This is her? Yeah, that's her. So this this was the uh, uh, the Cyborg Swordmaster. She's a Cyborg Swordmaster. Her. So, again, spoiler she gets killed and her death to me was the silliest shit because her whole fight she was stuck in slow motion like they would literally go to a different scene shit happens a little bit everything's fine we come back to her slow motion we leave her we come back to her still slow motion it, like and I'm and this I'm and I, I promise you I'm not over exaggerating at all like, <laughs> like her whole, the house, the warehouse, the little fucking farmhouse that she was in defending was stuck in slow motion. Like, and maybe that's a thing of their universe. Maybe there's like, you know, gravity grenades going off that we don't see. I don't know, man. I don't know, bro. But this shit, like, and then when, when it happens, you know, when, when, when it happens, like, it, it, you're so I guess I'm supposed to be sad, but I'm just kind of sitting there like, okay. She had all but like five lines of dialogue throughout both films. Like, <laughs> all right, now that's over exaggerating because in the backstory, like two or three minutes, she gets to tell about herself in this movie. That maybe that's like you know um, a, a monologue, which is usually like you know a paragraph or so or two. Uh, you know, like, you know, it's a, she had a good little monologue. Um, but I still don't know, like, so I would, like, <laughs> I guess she, she definitely was affected by the space Nazis. Um, I guess they raided her town. It was such a generic, like, yeah, and, and my family died. So then I cut off my arms. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just now thought, like, I didn't even think about this when I was watching it. But when you say it, I, like, that's... Whenever I say explain a movie poorly, like, that right there, that's legit. Like, her story. That's her story. That's it. They showed up, they, you know... And I guess simplicity is fine. Um, but for them to, you know, try to frame it as, like, they want you to care... It, it, it just didn't. It, I didn't. I didn't give two squirts a piss. Like, at all. Like. And then there's also sidetrack. There's a director's cut that's going to be coming out, which is going to be better. Bro, like, I'm sorry. Zach. 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 <laughs> Mr. Snyder, sir. If you need a director's cut for every film to be good or passable, maybe there's a problem there. I'm just saying. Like, it, it's just every time. Same thing with the Justice League. Yo, well, if they would have done my director's cut, it would have been great. Which, you know what? To be fair, it definitely made it better, but it still was not good. Like, <laughs> it was better because you got a lot more context. Like, he needs to figure out how to give shit in a good way, like in a concise manner, because this whole, well, I needed a lot more time than you're going to allow me. It just keeps fucking him up. And But, again, if he cut down on the slow motion... He'd probably save himself some time there as well. Um, so, yeah, I, the, the, the movie does nothing for its its characters. I'll be honest with you. It doesn't. 
And and to say otherwise is foolish. I'll be honest. I, I, and I don't mean that to be mean or rude to anybody. If you liked it, great, fantastic. I'm glad you liked it. But for me, like you you want me to care about these characters, and I don't. I don't. I really don't. Like at all. Like even with their their small backstories. Again, they give it to you in a straight like 10 minute section of the movie. 10 15 minutes. They're sitting around talking after they harvest for a half hour. <laughs> I'm sorry. But after they harvest, they're, you know, relaxing and they're discussing. And the way this comes up was so fucking awkward. When I tell you, that's the other thing, too. So the general, what, what was, where, where is he at? This guy, Titus. Uh, I don't know how to say that. But him. Love him as an actor. This guy fucking rocks. But God damn it, this character they gave him to play could have probably been better if he was given more time. But, like, literally, this conversation starts like, so I want to make sure I can trust my team. They, he, had, hey, he mentioned this earlier in the film, by the way, so I thought we were over the trust thing. But, nope, we're back to it. So I'm going to tell you what happened about me and why I, I, I said fuck the space Nazis. And it literally just, that's it. That's how we get into it. He tells his story. They go around the circle and the table. Everybody tells their story. And they're all like two or three minutes. And it's all slow motion. And it's just like, this is terrible. Like, <laughs> like this could have been done throughout the film. This could have been done throughout the first film. Like, he just, yeah, it is just poorly put together. Um, but beyond that, visually speaking, it does look cool. It has cool moments. Some of the fights are cool. Some of that shit's good. But the overall story, how they tell it, is just not good. <laughs> like, it's just not. And and to be fair, some of the folks that do get an opportunity, you know, do good within their roles for the most part. But even then, a lot of them are still kind of broody. Like, they're all kind of just stoic. Um... And it's not much change there, and then they want me to give a shit, and I don't, you know. And my one of my other last gripes before we get into scene and, and score is uh, the end uh, cl climax uh, fight, you know, because you got to have that, obviously, of course. Like I mean, which is good. That's standard for these types of uh, movies. Tell me why <laughs> it was just like the first fucking movie, like. I'm sitting here watching this, and I'm like, wait, didn't, like, weren't they, like, fucking sliding down, fighting each other, or, like, falling for some shit, fighting each other in the first movie at the end of it? I was like, this is oddly fucking familiar, you know? And, like, you could have did anything else, but you decided to be like, hey, so instead of the falling and the fighting on, like, the, the ship dock or wherever the fuck that was in the first movie, we're going to do it now on the ship. After the ship has been destroyed and, and it's falling from the sky. What? <laughs> like, Zach, come on, bro. You made 300. Like, 300 was cool. You had some really cool fucking fights in that movie and some really cool moments. Like, bruh. You was, did you get, like, what happened? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I, I did truly want to give this, this whole thing a, 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 an honest go but the first one left a bad taste in my mouth and now this one i'm just like dude like somebody take away the fucking slow motion option from Zack snyder like somebody take that away or give him like a total of like five minutes throughout any given movie that you're only allowed five minutes of of slow motion because that's like it, it just now it's coming off like goofy as fuck like it's almost like this is the robot chicken version of his movie, you know, or like an SNL version of his movie or some shit or, or, uh, you know, a fucking, uh, uh Mel Brooks, you know, <laughs> parody, like just constantly in slow motion. And then what's the strangest thing I noticed? Cause one, once you notice it, you cannot notice it <laughs> is at towards the end. He stopped doing it. <laughs> what? The moments you think he would, he didn't. Like, and oh, wait, one more, one more that really stuck out is when our homie, uh, Jamon, 
I think the D is silent. Jamon Titus is his name in the film. They slow mode him getting water. Uh, it, the, I need to take a sip of water myself, and I'm uh, I'm not gonna be in slow motion. All right. Like getting water. Like some <laughs> something about this man. I don't know. It had potential. It really did. At least aesthetically, it looked really cool. You know, like I, I like the sets. I I kind of like, but I'm also like conflicted, like with the technology, like on the the big ship, like they're using like actual cranks and stuff, like it's an old ship, but it's also technology that flies into space. It's so interesting how they married the two, but at the same time, I can't enjoy it because of everything else. And God damn it, Francis, that's right. The main villain is Francis from Deadpool, and I hope he shows up in the fucking sequel, but I doubt it. Or uh, Deadpool versus, uh, versus Wolverine, but besides the point, like, <laughs> like his character, and the funny thing is he did the thing. He said the Scar Giver, I think, at least three times in the beginning half of the movie and then stopped saying it all together. So I... <laughs> I don't know, man. This shit was so... Like, maybe if... I wish he, Zack Snyder would come out and be like, hey, I made this as an homage to, like, 80s movies. Then I'd be like, well, actually, this makes more sense now. doesn't make it any better, but it it makes more sense, you know, in that in that aspect. Just like how, how Thor Love and Thunder makes a little bit more sense when you realize it's being told by Korg. That's why it's so absurd. But whatever. Um, you know... Give it your own view. Check it out. Like, you know, it is what it is. I I just, I really hope this was going to be better, but it, it wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, but I can find a favorite scene, uh, which, uh, it's tough. <laughs> it's tough. I don't honestly, I was thinking about it because the whole time I'm just like, I can't believe he did this. Uh, but probably, um, mm, well, I would probably have to say favorite scene was, uh, Jesus, I don't think I have one, but I have to have one. Pretty sure I have one. I guess, um, <laughs> this, yo, I, this might be a historical thing here because <laughs> I'm trying. Um. And I always have one, even for bad movies. I've always had a go-to like scene, but this this is tough. This is tough. Um, uh, you know what? Actually, when Jimmy, Jimmy the robot, <laughs> Anthony Hopkins, uh, his his heroic saving moment, his his anime moment, basically. Um, that was, that was, pro yeah, that was my favorite scene. There we go. I found it, guys. Congratulations. Pat on the back. Hey. Um, so, score? I don't remember what I gave the first one. It could have been a, like, I know it was not a high number at all. I probably gave it, like, a five or a, something like that. This one's easily a uh, five or four. Let's go four or five. We're going to say 4.5 right there smack dab in the middle uh, for this one. Um, I just, it is so much bad that outweighs the any good parts of it, you know, like, I don't know. It's just so strange. Like, like, again, I'm, I'm just going back to the Anthony Hopkins, Jimmy, the robot, like, like I put it this way. Let, let, if, so for some those that tuned in have definitely, I know for sure have watched like Dragon Ball Z, you know? So let, let's pretend it's the very first season and he's brother Raditz and all that shit. And Piccolo just shows up and fucking deletes him. And you never watch Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball doesn't even exist. Like the old school Dragon Ball does. Like homie just, you heard about Piccolo. He's like the king of some shit. And you're like, all right, cool. And then he just shows up, deletes him, and that's it. Like, what the fuck? And like nothing, nothing. They didn't even give a backstory about the goddamn robot. We just know the robot was protecting the the, uh, the the Imperium family or whatever the fuck it's called. The, the Space Nazi family. <laughs> I 
Like he was supposed to be in service to them or whatever. That's about fucking it. That's all you get, you know? So it's just, oh, God. Yeah. yeah. But anyways, um, like I said, visually, there's some cool scenes. I mean, it looks cool, but that's it. It just looks cool. That's it. Half the movie was farming and training. And the training was short, shorter than the, the farming, which is interesting. Um, and you probably guessed some of the training was in slow motion. <laughs> But yeah, that's it, man. I, you know, I, it is what it is. Uh, again, if you liked it, great. I'm happy. Uh, don't let me ruin it. Um, but uh, it is what it is. That's that's why we do this. It's fun. Uh, so Monday night will be the next movie review wheel spin. I'll be doing an actual wheel spin. So if you want to participate, you be here Monday night. We'll get a pick in the chat. We'll put it on the wheel, and we'll see what it do. <clears throat> uh, but with that being said. We're going to go ahead and, and throw on this here local music, uh, some local love. Shout out to the cousin track Justice. If you liked any of those beats, hit them up. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> 